Hi everyone, Dean here with the NS Stick Channel and today I'm going to do a brief overview of the MOD Duo. Uh, this is a um, uh, an effects processor basically uh, and more. It's also a sound generator uh, um, that you can do with keyboards. Um, you can run guitars through a bass uh, stick. It's, it's amazing for stick um, uh, for many reasons and uh, you can also do you know mics and anyway you can process any kind of musical instrument that you're looking to process through uh, this. Um, on its own it's a uh, it's just this. It's, a, it's actually a pretty much a Linux computer and uh, you use the user interface through a web browser to um, uh, to set up your quote-unquote pedal board um, and it'll all come together once I get to that uh, but just to show you briefly uh, it's a two in two out and also a headphone jack here as well um, also has MIDI in and out uh, also the uh, USB for USB B I guess for connecting to the computer um, also a uh, A connector, USB A connector um, for plugging in uh, things like um, you can put a Bluetooth dongle in here if you want to or a hub and connect all kinds of stuff. Um, I use, I've uh, used a Keith McMillan soft step uh, works perfectly and uh, uh, so that's pretty cool. Um, also here is uh, looks like an Ethernet connection and it is one of those but it's not made for that don't connect it to your computer um, it might even damage this if you do that um, what it is is for their upcoming um, foot switch extensions that they're doing and also a um, expression pedal can be uh, plugged into here and what's how it's going to be cool is that um, it gives um, uh, on the pedal itself I believe and also on the uh, expression pedal on the foot switches and expression pedal there's going you can be able to daisy chain them so you just go from here to you know your uh, foot switches and then just daisy chain that onto uh, an ex um, expression pedal or another foot switch uh, and so that's going to be really cool to just be able to do that uh, with this but for now uh, they haven't come out with that quite yet uh, very soon they will be um, but right now you can use any kind of USB MIDI or even just a regular MIDI controller directly into the MIDI in here. So pretty cool. Um, so it's got all the right connections, especially for a stick person. Two in, two out. And, uh, and you'll see in a second here uh, that total flexibility in your routing. So imagine, uh, you know, as a stick player, you might want to go in here and then just go out mono or stereo out to a PA or your amp or whatever. Um, maybe you want to put your bass and melody signal going out separately maybe for recording purposes or to have the front of house to blend that on out there or blend it yourself in here or do stick and blend it into one and maybe you'll have a, um, a, a, a in here it can also be used as a sound generator so uh, you might have a MIDI and you want to plug in the MIDI and then you have uh, keyboard sounds coming out of here too. Um, so, so much t that goes into this um, that I can't go over everything on a short video but I wanted to show first the physical outside and then I'm going to now show you um, the user interface and the total flexibility it has. Um, so, let's check it out. Okay, so what I've done is I've plugged in the uh, the duo into my computer to my USB port uh, into and you know into the back of it into my computer and pulled up uh, this is um, uh, Chrome it's just a browser and you can type in there's a web address uh, the current one is you type in man, um, mod duo dot local and it actually just connects right up. Um, I've pulled up a blank slate, I guess you would say, uh, and this is what it would look like on the left side here. Um, just to let you know, signal path in the the uh, um, 
the user interface here is going to be left to right. Uh, it's one thing that some people have noticed is, uh, you know, when you use a pedal board on your uh, for your guitar or, or stick or anything, it usually goes from right to left. Um, but uh, for the user interface, it's left to right, just kind of uh, how you would read. So uh, on the left here, this is where uh, input one comes in. And you can see it's got a, just got a cable that you can grab. Uh, input number two, and also actually MIDI in right there. On the right side here, you've got your uh, output one, uh, output two, and this is MIDI out. And if you ever use any kind of uh, MIDI um, equipment, uh, any other kind of uh, uh, on the USB, then it'll actually show up here um, as another MIDI input and output, uh, how, whatever you have. On the uh, bottom here, you probably saw me pull up my, uh, when I put my uh, cursor down here, it, all these uh, uh, effects pop up. And you got your different uh, categories here. I'm on all right now, but you can look at all the delays, distortions, dynamics, filters like EQs, generators. These are all different kinds of, of sound generators for um, you know keyboard sounds and all kinds of stuff. Um, modulators, uh, you know, reverbs, simulators. So these are actual simulators of uh, uh, guitar amps, preamps, cabinet simulators, uh, that kind of stuff is here. Uh, spatial, you know, uh, make things sound a little wider, do some panning, all that kind of stuff. Um, uh, there's also a spectral section, which is actually a like a whammy. You can do drop tune, capo uh, things, harmonizers, that kind of stuff right here, and the utility kind of stuff. Um, uh, something I use all the time is this gain. Actually, I put it in my favorites, uh, and you'll see uh, once I start building a pedal board here. Also, a lot of great tools for MIDI, uh, channel maps, um, uh, uh, just uh, changing keys. Uh, you can do chords from single notes and things, uh, and you know whatever you can kind of imagine. Uh, you want to do, you can pretty much do it here. Well, with some exceptions, of course, but um, uh, and limitations. But uh, just to kind of give you an overview here. So, um, if I were to take this uh, input one, go to output one, it's just a, a direct signal going in and coming out. Um, so, let's say I put a uh, just a, a gain plugin. These are all called plugins. And I, if I plug that in there and out here, now I can control the volume of anything. So let's just uh, play around and I can just hit the garbage can and it goes away. So let's say, and this is what I do a lot on, on everything actually, is I have bass side of my uh, NS coming in on, on input one and melody on input number two. So uh, let's start building something here. Let's say I want to um, have a, 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 a compressor. You've got some nice compressors here and uh, so I'm going to take the mono compressor, put it right there um, and if you uh, press on the uh, um, uh, what is that, a gear, you get to see all the settings expanded and you can see all the different uh, uh, functions this plugin can do so um, you know Maybe just do a nice soft limiter. Uh, you set up your attack and release. You know, you can always come back to this. Your makeup gain, all these kind of things. So if you like using compressors, that's great. Um, uh, let's see here. I also want to put a um, amp on there. Um, something I've been really enjoying is actually just using this cabinet uh, simulator. And uh, there's some really neat cab sounds and actually you can do a lot of this stuff directly from here you can move all these knobs um, but there might be more controls that you can get to or it might be just easier um, so something I like to use in here is for example this A2 on the bass side it just gives so much boom so much low end it's pretty crazy um, and then just adjust your bass and treble as needed and then um, yeah maybe that's all I'll use on the bass side 
and all you do is you just click and drag these cables as if you were plugging one thing into the next and out the other side. Super easy. Um, let's build something on the melody side. I'm going to do a distortion. So go to my distortions. Uh, they've got these fuzzes. There's just all kinds of stuff. Um, uh, and even stuff that's not even po quite possible. For example, this rack a rack. Um, uh, I don't know if it's a company or, or an individual. Um, really makes uh, this. This is a really neat distortion, and so many different. Um, uh, you can go through presets, but types. It uses signs and, and uh, sine waves and things. I'm not even sure these different things, and you can use the. Uh, I highly recommend using the actually the low pass filter so you cut some of the highs off of it to get the harshness off of it and you can get some really nice thick um, uh, distortions out of this plugin and I've really enjoyed using it along with some of the other ones too uh, so uh, you know you can raise some sub octave do all these kind of cool stuff with it so you know go from that and maybe uh, something I haven't even tried yet is this new simulator which is the JCM 800 um, pre and you can notice maybe maybe you can see that this is a, a mono version and there's a stereo version and this is just the pre amp part of the, the JCM 800 uh, which is pretty cool and then uh, let's find a cabinet so I'll go under it's under the simulation still uh, and also there's Leslie's um, there's a lot of rave reviews about this Leslie cabinet simulator in here. Uh, let's see here. There's a this little pedal, which looks like a pedal, but it's actually a cabinet simulator. So again, you just keep plugging everything in like that. And you can see that this is actually a stereo unit. Um, uh, and a lot of these, I just like to use one side and go out the other side, unless there's some kind of stereo effect that you're going for. Uh, then you might want to put a stereo uh, unit here. Uh, you know, and so on and so forth. Uh, however this works, uh, you might find it better that if you plug it into both. And, uh, so you can either drag another cable over here and do that, um, or you just drag this and if you highlight both of them, it should go to both. There it goes. And over here too, you can just plug both out and into there. Uh, sometimes it's good. Uh, sometimes uh, it's, uh, it's a little too much because it'll combine the signals and it might get too much of a boost. Um, uh, but it just kind of depends on it. All these plugins are are free right now. Uh, nothing you don't pay for anything, and they're all just independently um, created by all these uh, you know guys online uh, wanting to create these types of plugins. Um, and I'm not I'm not a programmer by any stretch of the imagination. And um, uh, uh, what's also great about uh, the MOD Duo is that you can uh, join the, the forums, uh, which is the forum.moddevices.com, and you can just go on there and put out your requests and suggestions and questions to whatever, and the the uh, response is wonderful. Uh, I've put out numerous. Uh, different uh, suggestions and and I these developers get back to me and say that's great here I'm going to implement that or yeah that's something to think about you know and even the 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 MOD guys um, uh, uh, are you know developing the platform so they need the feedback and and they take you know all of our our input into consideration and uh, and they've been coming out with updates all the time so. Uh, right now we're on update number 1.2 and um, you know each time they do an update it's uh, just more functionality um, and uh, so uh, there's more to come and I'm looking forward to those but uh, they've really come a long way and uh, just a, just an amazing platform for this um, so you can see here I've you know you can split signals you can uh, combine signals just by putting the, the cables together. Uh, something I like to do um, is is blending sounds, right? So um, I would take a direct signal out of here and maybe plug it all the way to the output here uh, and blend that with this um, uh, 
uh, compressor and cabinet sound that I put in here or um, I might take uh, this uh, direct signal into here and blend the the, um, uh, the direct signal with the um, uh, with the compressed signal uh, parallel compressing is great you can squash the crap out of it and then but still keep all your dynamics by uh, blending the two signals instead uh, what a great way to do that um, so highly recommend experimenting with that and I'm going to bring up a pedal board that I'm currently using um, other things I like to do is uh, put in my reverbs and delays and things um, but instead of just um, uh, putting it in line so for example uh, let's just take this one it's called Rumi and uh, let's put it on the melody side here and let's just say I I use this, I plug in there, and I'm just doing mono. So I'm going to just take the left and the left out. Um, you can do that, and then you can use the mix knob for adding whatever um, you want, uh, however much reverb you want, uh, you know, and adjusting everything. But um, I come from a studio background where we would do things in parallel. Uh, so I would just take the end here and I'll plug it into the output directly, but also have a, another this signal going over here making this 100% wet um, and then um, uh, blending the signals just like you would in an aux send in a, in a recording console or on your mixer um, and uh, uh, controlling the levels is the other thing so you'd have you might have to put in a uh, gain plugin so I'll use this to adjust the amount I send out to here like that um, and I oftentimes will put in another one here so this is my direct signal um, uh, let me unplug that one into there so I have a direct signal um, level that I can do uh, I've also done this too where I'll put another uh, gain plugin so you'll see many times I use this on everything because you know just gain staging and blending and combining signals so now I just have a master level for my whole chain here um, and it's really that easy you think about it you plug it in and you try it out um, so for example uh, none of this, these controls though are are going to be on your uh, to be able to use it outside of the user interface right now but what you do is you go in here and you assign what you want uh, and you can assign multiple things to the knob so let's actually put this on knob 2 um, uh, and you can you can name it here uh, for the label and it'll show up actually on the screen of the duo uh, you know the the sensitivity of the knob and the range these kind of things uh, and then you would save it and uh, if you assign another thing to that same knob for example let's say I assign a, a reverb level right so I assign the reverb level here back to knob 2 the knob actually you depress and it scrolls through the different uh, things you've assigned to it um, uh, uh, the foot switches though you can only assign one thing at a time and uh, uh, there's a whole bunch of uh, you can also be assigned for doing uh, scrolling through the different pedal boards that you create as well um, or use it to turn things on and off on your pedal board. Um, one thing that you'll notice right away on the screen, if you haven't noticed it already, is down here is the CPU usage. Right now I'm already over uh, at 86 percent and once you start running some signal in here it actually moves a bit because the processing is, is happening. Um, this is because I'm using some pretty high CPU usage plugins. For example, uh, uh, the um, simulators tend to use a lot more uh, so that's the JCM 800 the uh, the cabinet sim here this cab sim and also reverbs use up a lot as well so you just have to look out for that and but you can still do so much with this um, uh, the other thing I didn't show you was the uh, the the MIDI same deal uh, let's find a let's say I plug in a, a MIDI controller um, I've had the Sonus G2M and uh, plug down to my bass side and I would plug it into um, some utilities here which would 
um, you can choose a key and and uh, it will play the you know the third and the f and the fifth, creating a chord. Uh, you can you know whatever you want, and then and then um, uh, play that into a, a generator. Uh, there's some great synth pads and things. But as soon as I bring this here, you can see my CPU is jumping. It's actually over in 100%. I'm going to take that out before it crashes. If it's just pegged at 100, it actually crashes. So watch out for that. Uh, but um, yeah, you just have to watch out for that. So let me pull up a pedal board which I've created for myself and I've been really enjoying. <coughs> so uh, what you would do is you go down here and you can see uh, it takes a second and these are all the different kind of pedal boards I've been creating. Um, everything from some pretty simple stuff uh, to what I've kind of named a live pedal board with a question mark because I'm still kind of working on it. So let me bring that one up. Uh, it says if I bring that up it's going to lose that one I just created but that's okay. I don't. That's not my pedal board so it's just uh, a test or a demonstration. But so here's actually my current uh, sound that I'm using. You can note, you probably notice there's a lot of signals being split and then being combined um, a lot of these uh, these uh, um, gain plugins being used along the way to boost and cut uh, signal levels. Uh, this is a great plugin right here. Uh, it's a crossfader like you might have on a, a DJ mixer. It's that kind of a thing. And I'm blending um, a kind of a clean amp sound. Uh, also using high pass and low pass filters to uh, just kind of lose some of that harshness on the top end that you know our, the clean sound of a stick can sometimes have and that blended for me at least uh, with a distorted amp sound is just mm, I'm just not too excited about that so I cut off some of that I uh, filter off that top end um, I, I also filter off some low end because uh, there can be a lot of rumble uh, that can just eat up your your headroom and uh, I should probably actually move that, maybe put another one or even put one over here. Um, just because uh, right now the um, this is a distorted signal at the bottom here. Um, doesn't have one right there. So I might put one in there just to kind of cut out some rumble that might be causing some issues. Um, but I haven't heard anything, so I'm not you know, too worried about it. But anyway, so you can see it's pretty comp complicated and imagine having to do this on a traditional pedal board. Um, you know, the uh, um, how would you split these signals like this? You know, it's on a regular pedal board and then uh, combining them at any junction means that you probably be using a mixer um, or you know the boss uh, little mixer pedal and that only takes I think two signals uh, and puts them together so yeah it's a lot uh, you know to do on a traditional pedal board so uh, just the 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 way you can do things on here is just limitless honestly and uh, you can see on my CPU usage I'm up to about 70 percent right now and 80 percent is really the end of where I would do anything, um, uh, but you want to watch out sometimes too because as I said it does fluctuate a bit and you can start hearing some uh, um, some clicking and, and uh, pops and things because uh, it will like jump into the 100% you can't really see it in the meter but it will flash red. Uh, some of these synths uh, they say they're only you know you're only at 70% but it can jump 30% 40% sometimes and so that's why I haven't really been using them right now. Uh, but on their own, if you're just going to put a, a, a sound engine and maybe some MIDI controls, uh, it'll probably work just fine. Uh, and so I'm actually considering maybe even getting a second duo just so I can get, get even more crazy. Maybe use one for my bass side and another one for my melody side or something. Uh, you know, just go, go wild. Um, uh, oh, oh, I probably shouldn't forget, there's also a looper in here so it's a very simple looper it's called the super looper right here um, and if you click on these it actually brings up uh, you know the, some more uh, um, uh, information about it uh, and you can actually hit this button where it says see it in action it'll take you to a 
a pedal board where somebody might be using that pedal board and people share them there's recordings that you can listen to of people using it so if you're interested in a certain plugin uh, you know and want to see how other people have used it check it out you can download those uh, pedal boards onto your duo and use them yourself too so you can share your pedal boards and also download other people's it's a total sharing community um, so again uh, you know, uh, something to watch out, as I said, is the CPU usage. And so, you know, I've wanted to uh, blend all these different amps together, but uh, that uses a lot of uh, a lot of CPU. So I've had to really kind of back off of that and get a little more creative on, hey, how am I going to get that blended sound that I'm looking for? And uh, so, you know, just keep experimenting. There's just uh, so much going on with this. So. Um, anyway, I didn't really get too detailed into you know those types of things and talking about the sound, but I just wanted to show how easy it is to get started on this pedal. Uh, you know, plug it in, get into the user interface, just start loading some pedals, plugging it in and out, and uh, play, adjust, you know, play some more, and uh, and go with it. And then once you're done, you know, save it and uh, assign some of the knobs and the pedal or the, the um, switches to things uh, get an external MIDI foot switch for yourself um, they're coming out with more uh, with their own foot switch and, ex and expression pedal all this stuff is to come but you can still do it right now with a MIDI one so wonderful wonderful stuff and you know it, the hardware is working great um, I haven't seen it crash on its own except for when I uh, overload it, you know, on my GUI with, uh, uh, you know, over 100% just peg that CPU, then it just, just, it doesn't like that. Um, but I've, other than that, I haven't had any issues as far as stability, so kudos to those guys for making this very stable. Um, uh, there's new plugins coming in. The community is just great. You can just keep, stay active in it. Um, you can, or you can just uh, hover around in it and watch and stalk it if you want to, just be a stalker, but um, being involved, you can get put out your input and uh, they really listen to you, it's great. Um, and it does sound great. Um, I'm not doing any sounds on this uh, video, just to keep it short. Um, and it looks like I'm already making this longer than I want to, but um, it sounds great. The, um, everything going in and out and uh, experiment, just keep experimenting. So that's the video for the MOD Duo. Just a quick o o overview. I went a little over more than what I expected to do. I talked a little more, but um, I just wanted to show that um, briefly, I guess, on uh, uh, you know just the hardware and the user interface and um, really great for stick, especially being two in, two out, complete um, uh, uh, routability, is that a word? Um, flexibility in how you can route the signal, you know, split them, combine them, um, use multiple, you know, things in series or parallel, and um, if you can think, if you have something in your mind and you're like, oh man, I really want, wish I had, I could take that amp and this amp and blend them, or I have this one distortion and this other one, or uh, parallel compression is great. Um, uh, all these things, you can do it on this and it's so easy because you just go on the user interface and just drag and drop the things you want and connect them with the cables and, and split them and put them together whatever you know it's so easy and um, um, so anyway it's really been a, a lot of um, creativity for me uh, getting the sounds that I've always been wanting to get and uh, not being held down by uh, the restrictions that some other uh, multi effects have um, and again this isn't just for guitar type instruments you know not just for for the stick or for bass or guitar, it's also for keyboards, you know, it's for uh, get a microphone and you want to do effects on that, it's got a looper built in and they're they're coming out with other newer loopers 
uh, you know the developers are working on stuff all the time so um, you know it's uh, it's just in its infancy and it's so great so um, uh, anyway uh, if you have any questions about uh, about this uh, please uh, leave uh, comments down below and um, any suggestions or anything please leave comments uh, also subscribe to the channel and thank you for watching have a great one